Hey guys, Chris here. So in today's video, you again join me here in Turkey. Today is our last night here in Turkey. We're leaving home tomorrow and in my next video I'll be back in Norway and I think I'm going to do a video on my XC90 because I haven't driven that car or seen that car in more than three weeks and just... Oh, sorry about that guys, but it is really hot outside and water in the heat is, yeah, the best drink though. I'm going to have a fan of Pepsi Max. So in today's video, the last video I'm going to do down here in Turkey, we've had a fabulous holiday, but it's been so damn humid here. The temperatures haven't been that high, but it's been so humid that it's felt like it's been like 40 degrees plus Celsius instead of, you know, 30 or a couple of 30 degrees, which is, which is the actual temperature. In today's video, we're going to do another Let's Configure video. And in today's video, we're going to go ahead and use the US Con configurator and we're going to configure a car that I thought I had configured but I actually haven't the brand new Volvo XC40 so without further ado let's go ahead so here we have loaded the US side click cars you get SUVs and all the way to the right you get the XC40 which starts at 33,200 US dollars and let's go ahead and click build Okay, so we have Momentum, our design, inscription, and you also have the subscription service on the Momentum and the R design. We're not going to do that, but that is very interesting. So I want to build a car less than $40,000. So let's put the budget there. I think we'll go ahead and, you know, just keep Momentum because R design doesn't give us much exterior difference or does it let's see okay or the inscription is too expensive at almost forty thousand dollars let's go ahead and choose our design and that comes with 19 inch wheels the momentum comes with 18 so now we're going to go for our design and select our design that also comes with navigation comes with the 12.3 inch digital driver's display the digital gauge cluster and keyless entry with a hands-free power tailgate opening and also view oh, oh, view standard features. So let's go ahead and pick the R design. And we're going to choose a city runabout. So we're only going to keep the T4. We're not going to upgrade to the T5 though. $2,000 more for both a more horsepower and four-wheel drive is a real bargain. You know what? For all-wheel drive and also, you know, 50 horsepower more, I think it's worth the money. Two grand isn't a big price up. So let's go ahead and choose that. And then we'll go ahead and choose exterior color. And I want to choose, let's see, burst. Maybe fusion red would be cool and the XC40. That's a $645 option. God, that looks really cool, actually. That's nice. Or maybe Bursting Blue. I haven't seen an XC40 in Bursting Blue. Mm -hmm. Joyce is bright, so now we can't do another bright silver car. Let's go ahead and choose Fusion Red Metallic. Fusion Red Metallic. Continue to wheels. And we're at... $39,340. Yeah, because there's a $1,000 destination fee. Okay. We're going to keep try to keep this close to $40,000. $800 there for those wheels. Is it worth it? You know, I think that looks much sharper. So... Okay, we might change this to an T4 at the end because we've already, you know, blown our budget. Charcoal with Nubuck leather, which is the interior. Uh, lava floor for $100, but 
we can't do that with the fusion. No, we're, then we're not going to do it. We're going to do a all black interior, keep the red exterior paint. And I don't think we have too many. Continue to packages. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So heated front seats with heated steering wheel, $750 advanced package for a thousand gives us 360 camera, active bending lights, heated windshield washers, headlight high pressure cleaning. Yes, I think that's worth a thousand dollars. Accept selection. And then we have the heated seats and heated steering wheel package, which is $750. So, if you live in a cold climate, this is a must. If you live in, I don't know, Southern California, you probably don't need that. But I think most of you people watching don't live in Southern California, so we're going to go ahead and do that. $750, we're now at $43. Vision package gives us park, pilot, park assist pilot, front and rear parking assist, blind spot information, power retractable rear view mirrors power yes auto dimming oh i do think that's also worth the but we can't choose everything premium package what does that give us yeah we need pilot assist is more important we're gonna go ahead and choose this package premium package which gives us a lot of bits and pieces but the pilot assist and let's see if we can do the parking sensors a la carte go ahead and choose options and we're gonna do we're gonna drop the panoramic sunroof we're gonna drop the four chassis four C active chassis because the damping on the standard suspension is brilliant are we gonna do the Harman Kardon premium sound system I do think I do for eight hundred dollars it is worth the money I talked about this in the XC40 videos I did that it isn't as good as the Barson Wilkins, but at eight hundred dollars, it's about one third of the price. So, what can you expect? We're at forty four six eighty five, and I don't think we can't choose the parking sensors a la carte. Are you serious? Serious? Well, we do have to have parking sensors. So, vision package. Hey guys, I already chose every package. I actually chose it, so we have the vision package. Okay. Park assist pilot, front door parking assist, 360 camera, advanced package. You know what? For a car this size, is the 360. Yes, it you know it goes through to the the experience of the new as well. Just having the 360 camera and add a thousand dollars with the active bending lights, I do think it is worth the money. And hmm, we'll do a momentum. Let's configure below forty thousand dollars. I'll do that in the next video, and that will be a bonus video, guys. Because I'm going to build this, we're going to end it here at 44,685, including destination. And this is pretty much, much a fully specced car at that price. You know, laminated panoramic sunroof. Okay, 45,885. And try to haggle, try to get this car at 45, and you really have, you really do have a great deal. This is the T5 all-wheel drive, 250 horsepower, all-wheel drive, handles brilliantly, corners and, you know, drives brilliantly, 20-inch wheels, looks so beautiful, I love this red metallic paint, oh, this thing is gorgeous, oh, look how, and also the interior, black leather with black nubbock, you know, the, the aluminum inlays, the sports steering wheel, yeah, this is one gorgeous car. So guys, we went almost thick 6,000 over a budget, but in the next video I'm gonna do a momentum. Let's configure on the XC40. That will be a bonus video. And yeah, how would you configure? I think this is worth the, the, the money at 45 grand. 
it's a lot of car and it's a brilliant car. So guys, how would you configure your Volvo XC60? What engine would you choose? What trim would you choose? And what of the options would you most definitely not choose? And what option would you most definitely choose, definitely choose? So guys, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always guys, please subscribe. See you guys later, man. Goodbye.